गुड इवनिंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू श्री राजीव जी अरुण फिरोदिया श्रीमती जय श्री फिरोदिया फेलो अवार्डी आशुतोष शर्मा गोविंद स्वरूप जी मशेलकर जी एट द आउटसेट आई वुड लाइक टू प्लेस ऑन रिकॉर्ड माय सिंसियर थैंक्स टू एच के फिरोदिया फाउंडेशन फॉर रिकग्नाइजिंग आई वुड से इट्स नॉट मी एज एन इंडिविजुअल दैट दे हैव रिकग्नाइज्ड इट इज इसरो दे हैव रिकग्नाइज्ड बिकॉज इट इज ट्रूली इसरो इज एन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन व्हिच बिलीव्स इन ट्रीम स्पिरिट एंड एज यू वुड हैव सीन ड्यूरिंग द कोर्स ऑफ दिस ट्वेंटी टू ईयर्स मेनी ऑफ द इसरोइट्स हैव फाउंड प्लेस इन दिस अवार्ड सो आई ट्रूली थैंक द Firodias for recognizing Isro through me, because today if Isro has made a name in the country, it is primarily because right from its inception, Isro has been trying to bring in a new technology, new technology of space when it became available to address the problems in our country and find solutions to them. what i would just like to bring to your kind notice is when way back in 1957 when the first sputnik was put into orbit by the russians the two two superpowers were actually vying with each other to demonstrate who is more capable and who is more powerful but at that time we had in our country great visionaries dr sarabhai homi baba who were looking at how a technology can be harnessed for bringing in solutions to the problems we face in our country just immediately after the independence 47 and this event had happened in 57 at that time science and technology was just at its uh, beginnings people were trying to find solutions to many problems at that time dr sarabhai realized that space technology can quickly enable india to make progress because first thing that was required was you need to actually bring in communication to the entire country and at that time the kind of innovative approaches he brought in he could convince americans that they need to lend their advanced technology satellite ats6 for about a year and in 1975 for one year an experiment the like of which had not been conducted anywhere in the world and for the first time it was demonstrated on a large scale a large socio technological experiment where in about 2400 villages similar to today's direct to home systems were established and the government was showcased that it is possible to reach out to all our farmers and the citizens through communication and also at that time the impact of cyclones and how space based observations can provide very accurate information about these landfall of the cyclone and the time at which it is going to happen as you can visualize when you go outside this earth and look at earth from space you have no boundaries no state boundaries no national boundaries but this information what you can generate can provide tremendous capabilities in various fields whether today we have about 42 satellites in operation in space enabling india to take care of its weather requirements of monitoring cyclones and providing information well in advance so that what used to be resulting in tens of thousands of lives lost during cyclones in the recent past super cyclones the disaster relief agencies have been able to actually evacuate people well in advance and avoid loss of life and isro has all along been trying to do innovative solutions to the solutions and make the best use of the technology that is accessible to it we have here in the audience dr kale who was also a pioneer in bringing in the concept of 3 in 1 where we could not afford three independent satellites and three launches for solving our problems in a single satellite 
a concept which had not been in vogue at that time, three-axis stabilized satellite was conceived and it was realized through a Ford Aerospace. But beyond that, all the satellites, communication satellites have been built in the country. What ISRO has all the time been trying to do is make the technology that is accessible to you, but find ways and means of innovatively using them to address the problems we have in hand. I would like to recount one very interesting example of what had happened. When Dr. Sarabhai was trying to bring in the first set of sounding rockets to Tumba Equatorial Rocket Launching Site for conducting upper atmospheric research, he had to actually meet the priest of a church and convince him that he should explain to the fishermen that this place, if the fishermen vacate at that point of time for advanced research activities to be done, in future, India is going to benefit. True to that, from 99 onwards, through the observation of ocean color and through the ocean color, identifying chlorophyll and then thermal fronts, where the fish catch is going to be. Today, the Indian National Center for Ocean Information System from 99 onwards has been providing to the fishermen of the country specific information about where to go for fishing. This alone saves more than 15 to 20,000 crores a year in terms of petrol and diesel, which is saved. Beyond that, what we have also done is today with our Navic satellite, seven satellite navigation system, which is again a concept which is very different from what the rest of the world has used, whether it is US GPS system or USSR GLONASS system, Galileo of U Europe or BIDO of Japan, we have made use of only a seven satellite constellation from Geo platform and providing to the country and not only within the country but 1500 kilometers beyond our borders, an independent navigation system and the messaging system that is possible in this, we are able to provide to the fisherman when he is in the ocean, specific knowledge about where he is, where he needs to go for fishing, and also in case of any weather vagaries, he can be alerted well in advance in his local language <coughs> on his mobile by putting a small gadget on the boat. So the time for technology that is being developed from the fishermen being told that if you vacate the space way back in 1961 to today in 2019, we have come full circle and we have actually demonstrated that the advanced technologies can be definitely used for addressing the day-to-day -day problems that we have in the country. Today, with the kind of technology that is available, we are able to provide to the government a huge number of uh, information whether it is for monitoring or planning. And today, the government of India and the state governments are increasingly using the space technology for various activities. And for all this, starting from the sounding rockets being brought in from abroad in the form of kits, today we have developed in the country indigenously a launch vehicle capability of polar satellite launch vehicle, which, as was pointed out, has already made waves across the globe because it has demonstrated that it is one of the very credible vehicles and 104 satellites in one go which was put is actually a demonstration that while we build our capability in this country to address our problems, whatever excess capacity we have, we are trying to make use of it for earning some revenue. And these 104 satellites in a single go was again a demonstration of how some excess capacity we had in our polar satellite launch vehicles can be used for earnings. By now, we have done for more than 29 countries, 239 satellites of uh, international customers have been put into orbit. And we have also made sure that the country grows along with us. The industry is handheld and we work with more than 500 industries today and a large number of uh, items have been indigenized. And today, to improve our capacity in the country, we are working with industries and academia to find ways and means by which the capacity is built in the country for not only providing the capability of increased number of satellites and launches needed for our use, but also to enable the India to capture a portion of the global market. And there's a huge market globally 
for in space because space is a new frontier. Space as a frontier which is now looking at space tourism, space travel, space adventure, space exploitation and also space habitation. All these are areas for the future and in this area we need to enable the country in terms of the next generation and also the industries, we are taking actions for making this happen. Another important thing we have also done during the course of uh, this development of technology in the country is to make sure that the science is not left behind and the Chandrayaan mission and the Mars mission, what you have heard, and also today we have another very important mission called AstroSat where we have enabled the Indian academic institutions like Tata Institute of Fundamental Research or Inter-University Centre for Astronomy and Astrophysics to actually build hardware and today globally AstroSat is recognized as one of the very advanced observatories in space which can make actually celestial transient observations and it has contributed to the recent neutron star collision and also the black hole collisions which had happened, some of the observations it is able to provide and the far ultraviolet telescope has an angular resolution which is three times better than the best in the world. So like this, what we have been trying to do is enable the country grow both in the industrial arena as well as in the academic arena and the future programs what we have have definitely targeted towards increasing the indigenous capacity in the country we are working towards reducing the cost of access to space by bringing in reusable launch vehicle or scramjet engine where we pick up uh, oxygen on the way and make use of uh, this along with hydrogen for demonstrating that you can build vehicles at much lower cost. And all this has been possible because the organization is actually working as a team, a team of interdisciplinary people who started their career early from just as they came out of their institutions, academic institutions. And what this has shown, both the 104 satellite launch as well as the Mars mission, what it has shown the country is no matter what problems you have, no matter what difficulties you have, it is possible to achieve great things from this soil and you can make the people of the world turn around and look at you and appreciate what you have done. This country has great potential and the potential, if it has to come true, it's only when we enable our next generation youngsters to take note of this, realize they have tremendous potential, they can make the country go forward. And in this, the events like today's where the society recognizes the people who are contributing to the development of the society is a great uh, motivator and it's a great inspirational activity. And I compliment Firodia Foundation for doing this honor and I humbly accept this on behalf of Indian Space Research Organization, which has been trying to bring in new technology and new scientific results for the benefit of this country. Thank you very much.